Good morning. Today we are going to see how to implement a Boolean equation using a multiplexer or simply max. We are going to implement this equation using a multiplexer. Usually we go for AND gate OR gate just like our NAND gate diagram. But after studying multiplexer, we have to know how to implement an equation using a multiplexer. Here we can implement in last class we have seen 8 by 1 multiplexer and 4 by 1 multiplexer. Here three variables are there. You take these three variables as n plus 1. You take this as a n plus 1. That means 8 variables n plus 1 equal to 8 variables. Here I am going to implement this 2 power n equal to 4 input. That means 4 by 1 multiplexer. Here if you directly implement means it is a 8 by 1 multiplexer. If you want to reduce the multiplexer inputs means you have to take this variable as a n plus 1 and n means 2 power n then it will be 2 power n will be 4 therefore 2 power n will be 4 that means n is equal to 2 n plus 1 is 3 n plus 1 is 3 n plus 1 is 3 that means 3 variables n plus 1 is 3 variable that means n equal to 2 2 means n 2 power n equal to 2 ok now inputs are 4 therefore 4 by 1 multiplexer we can use ok instead of 8 by 1 we can use 4 by 1 multiplexer for that we have to prepare a implementation table we have to prepare a implementation table ok implementation table. I told you we are going to implement 4 by 1 max. Therefore, 4 inputs are required. Therefore, you take as I0, I1, I2, I3. Okay. You take this and here you can write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That means 8 inputs because this is a 3 variable equation. Then it will have a 8 terms, but in a given equation it is 4 are there. Now what you do, just you take 4 inputs and you write from 0 to 3 and 4 to 7. That means in this order you write. Now what you do is you just circle what are the terms are present. Here 2 is present, you just circle 2, 2 is present, just circle 2 and 3 is present, therefore just circle 3, 5 is present, just circle 5, 6 is present, therefore just circle this one, okay. Just I have circled the number of terms, that means 4 terms are there, I circled 4 terms here. Now three variables are there, we can take any of the two variable as a select lines and one as a input variable, one as a input variable. I take this as a input variable, I take the first variable as a input variable, A variable as a input and BC as a select lines. Now what I have to do is, see, <coughs> see this column first, see this first column, in this first column no number is circled, therefore you mark 0. In this second column, the number 5 is circled, that means it belongs to the variable a, therefore you write a. If both the numbers are circled in a column, you mark 1. Here 3 belongs to this a complement, therefore you write a complement. Now this is the implementation table. Now we have <coughs> substituted the terms given and we have got the variables. Okay. That now we have to draw 4 by 1 multiplexer. Now we have to draw 
4 by 1 multiplexer. It is very simple. Okay. 4 inputs are there. First input I0, second input I1, I2 and I3. Now 4 inputs are there. First input I0 is 0. First input I0 is 0. Second input I1 belongs to variable A. And third one I2 is 1. I2 is 1. And third one I3 is A complement. A complement. Now all the inputs are given. We take one variable as an input and two select lines are there. Therefore, you take this B and C. You take this B and C as a select lines. This is the select lines. And here you are getting F. That means Y output. You are getting Y output. Now this is the 4 by 1 multiplexer for this equation. Okay. We can implement using 8 by 1 also. But we have used one variable as the input and two variables as a select lines. It is a component wise and cost wise it is lesser than 8 by 1 multiplexer. Thank you. If you have any doubt, drop in a comment box. Thank you very much.